Yamamoto! Hey, Steeps, I'm back. Sorry I made you worry. You... Uh, Steeps? Oh, uh, well, welcome back, son. You had me worry. Um, yeah... I'm sorry. Uh, so is this... Is she the smashing bride you brought back with you? Not this again. Hello, Angel. What's your name? My name is Sarah Patras, sir. What a mean name! It's not very common, but it's the same name as the goddess of love from ancient mythology. Aoto told me a lot about you, sir. Please allow me to call you my father-in-law. What a nice beauty! Are you sure you deserve this fine young woman, Aoto? I heard the same thing a million times before I got here. Hmm. I still can't believe it. You're getting married! Anyway, we have to celebrate! I'm proud of you, Aoto. Steeps? What's wrong with you? Normally, you'd be like, What the hell were you doing not working? And then punch me! Whoa, what are you talking about? Nothing's wrong. R really? But I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry. That's all in the past. Today is a day of celebration. Here, I just made this. Eat, drink, sing. He certainly is a nice man, Aoto. Yeah, he is. Uh, I'm tired. I know the ends justify the means, but this is getting out of hand. Small towns and their gossip. What'll I do now? At this rate, I'm gonna have to marry Sarah Patra. Oh no. It'll just be a mock wedding. We're not really getting married. What am I doing here? I better go to sleep. Uh, who's there? Ah, oh, Tom? Sarah Patra! I'm having trouble with the nightly chill. It's particularly harsh on my unweathered skin. Will you keep me warm? What? Do you know what you're asking? Oh? Now my body's too hot. It's almost burning. And it's all because of you. You better take responsibility. Aoto. Oh, you're no longer cold. Well, good for you. <laughs> but you better go back to your room before you catch a cold, all right? <laughs> good night. Oh, what a wuss. Although, it's not like I mind your innocence. Listen, I'm only doing this because I've been thinking about many ways to protect Saki. This is the best I can do. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's fine. You're so nice. Almost too nice. I understand why Saki's attracted to you. Uh-huh. That was a joke. Well, half of one. It is true that there is a certain affectionate feeling for you within me. However, they completely belong to Saki. I just share a body with her. But she's so shy, so I thought I'd help her out. Right. It seems like I've been rejected. You know, it's not that I don't like you. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was Saki, but this is just too confusing. Well, color me jealous. But that's all right. You're like my cute younger brother. Besides, you're not my type. Huh? Each persona has different taste in men? Of course. Each one of us grew up in a different environment, and we all have different lives. Uh, is that right? Yes, it is. Although for us, it's a serious no-no to fall in love with someone. It's taboo? Exactly. But now that I'm out in the world, it's boring not to be able to love someone. Don't you agree? Therefore, although it's forbidden, I'll support your lovely future together. Personally, I think it's good for her. So you're like Saki's big sister, huh? <laughs> sort of. 
We Persona are always watching her from inside her mind. She's reserved and doesn't assert herself as much as she should. So we're all a little frustrated, but... Now she's gonna be your bride. I'm more than happy to help her. Hey, Aoto. I feel like... kissing you. Whoa, hey, stop! <laughs> okay, why don't we hold off on this until the ceremony? Good night, Aoto. See you tomorrow. No, wait! Oh, do you want to sleep in the same bed with me? No! Are you really gonna go through with the wedding? I know it's for Saki's sake, but we're not even in love. It's just a formality. We can't get away with not doing it after inviting everybody to come. Yeah, but I can't have a wedding with her other persona while she's... like asleep. I feel bad for her. You sound like a boyfriend who doesn't want to make her jealous. It's not like that. I just... Why don't we tell them the truth? If we come clean with everything, they might let Saki escape. Aoto, you trust people too easily. Huh? This isn't just between you and your boss. Besides, if protecting Saki truly is your top priority, you shouldn't have a problem with deceiving people sometimes. Even if it means you have to deceive Saki herself, we'll only be protecting her. Don't worry. As I said before, I'm still Saki, and Saki is still me. Her fate is my fate. Do you not like me that much? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help picking on you. Let's get some rest already. Good night, Aoto. Uh... Aoto, thank you for caring about Saki so much. I guess she's just messing with me. All right, whatever. I'm tired, so I'm going to sleep. <sighs> I'm tired. We finally get to sit. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you along my whole... Hey, I'm back, Tor. <laughs> no worries. I had never been to a temple before. That was fun. All right. My room's next door, so if you need me, please knock first. Hey! We finally have the chance to talk alone. Look, I don't want to get involved in your whole drama thing. If you really need to do that, do it with Aoto. Why did you bring him up? I mean, please, sit with me, just for a minute. Uh, what did you need to talk about? Um, I always wanted to ask you something. What is it? Tatsumi, you have the heart of Gaia, don't you? Who are you? You do, don't you? Please, give it to me! Are you crazy? I can't just give it to a girl who likes me. It's something precious that was entrusted to me. Who entrusted it to you? What are you supposed to do with it? Well, first of all, how do you even know about the heart of Gaia? And second, why do you want it? But that's... Do you happen to know Harvestasha? Uh, yes, I know her. Do you also know where she is? I was told to deliver it to Harvestasha. Uh, I can't tell you where she is. I've been sworn to secrecy. Damn. Then what should I do? Uh, I can deliver it to her for you. You? In fact, Harvestasha herself told me to do so. She told me to bring her the heart of Gaia. No, I can't. I have to deliver it myself. That is my true purpose here. So she wants the heart of Gaia, but she can't let anyone know where she is? What's up with that? Well, you see... All right, let's just say for a second that your story is true. I can believe that because you're a Ravitail. But please don't tell me there's a connection between Harvestasha and Clustania. No, 
That's not true. Sure, she's in the tower, but she's not a Clistanian. Oh, so she's in the tower? <laughs> Shoot. Well, anyway, I can't give you the heart of Gaia. There are still too many mysteries about you. Well, but then Harvestasha will... All right, then how about this? Take me to see Harvestasha. We'll go together. What? Even if she told you not to tell anyone where she is, if we go together, she can still meet both of us. Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. Please? Uh... I have to meet Harvestasha for myself. <laughs>